Now, is the housing market close to bottoming? My next guest says one thing's for certain, we have escaped Armageddon. Susan Wachter is professor of real estate finance at Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. She joins us via telephone. Susan, welcome. Good to be here. So, Susan, have we seen a bottom in housing prices? No, we are, we are unfortunately not at a bottom. The bottom is going to form after we see a peak in unemployment, and we haven't seen that yet either. All right, so unemployment is going to be the key to what happens in the housing market. Is what happens in the housing market key to the overall economy? Well, it's certainly key to what's happening to the banking stocks, but, you know, we have avoided the complete meltdown and that's important because in that scenario, housing would, would indeed have pulled everything else down. We are going to get to uh, a, a peak in unemployment. We've got everything being thrown at it. It's probably going to happen in 2010. And we are already seeing a slowing of the decline in housing. That means that these things are going to bring us back in housing. Not there yet, though. All right, a slowing and a decline of housing. What effects will option arms, adjustable rate mortgages, have on the uh, on the industry group? It's is this, all a, bad is this news. a ticking bomb, a ticking time bomb? Absolutely, it's all bad news. This is, uh, you know, we're, the foreclosure wave we have been through is not over. We have an equal foreclosure wave, not noted, but it's out there coming this coming year. And really, what matters to this is if we keep rates low, if they don't. So this, this move up this week is a very troubling sign. Then you're going to be able to have refinancing, and we won't suffer the worst of it. But we've got another wave coming, folks. It's not, it's, the housing is not solved by any means. Will government support be able to mitigate the effects of uh, option arm resets? Yes, to some degree, depending on whether uh, folks are going to be able to refinance either with Fannie Freddie, you know the Fannie Freddie limit increase in California makes that possible, and the option arms are a lot in California, the other sand states out there. So it's going to help. We've got the right policies in place, but if we've got a severe unemployment problem that worsens instead of getting better, we're just going to have more pressure there. What about the supply of foreclosures? We've noted in the past that, for example, in California, foreclosure sales, that's a big portion of the market. Are we going to see another wave of foreclosures and then foreclosure sales? Uh, more to the point, we're not going to see an end of this huge wave that's out there So this for a while. So this 50 percent, which you're absolutely right on, 50 percent of the sales are foreclosure sales. And that's not going to end for, uh, for months. We have all the way into 2010 because we have this new wave of foreclosures that's going to keep that pressure up on foreclosure supply into the market, which is why we don't see a bottom yet. Now, as an expert in the real estate business and the real estate markets, government support through FHAH mortgage support, is that crucial right now? Is there a private mortgage industry? No, there is no private mortgage market. We federalize the market entirely. Ninety percent or more is FHA and the former Fannie Freddie private, but now it's part of the government. So we have absolutely federalized this market. There is no private market. And it, there will not be one until we see recovery. Now, I wanted, that's why my next question, when you talk about the private market, is it possible, is there a way that the government kind of pulls the drip feed out of the mortgage business by cutting off uh, mortgage supply? That's not going to happen. Not for the next years. We're not even talking 2010. You know, the, the way we're going to get the bottom formed in the housing markets, and that has to come first, is going to come first from the investment side. And we're beginning to see that. We're beginning to see investors move in because they, too, actually can get financing from Fannie and Freddie. So they can get low cost, historically low cost, despite this runoff, run up still, historically low cost funding and rents are in fact a coming in rental market is not is is not it, it's it's slightly weak but it's it's there. It's nowhere near like right. the single family. So there is a market that's forming in the investment side. All right. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. I want to thank you very much, Susan Wachter, coming to us from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania.